morning. It's TR again from T-Man Performance. I wanted to do a quick video to show you some uh, issues that we're having with the inmates that we're seeing come through. We've done about 11 to 12 kits and shipped them and uh, we've got two bikes in right now that we're doing. One of the things that we're finding is we're doing a leak down on these motors uh, before we disassemble them. And what we're finding is on some of these we're having a 20 to 25 percent leak down on the motors and what that has uh, contributed to is the seats in the heads, the exhausts we are finding are loose in the heads. So what I wanted to bring to people's attention was that this is stuff that should be checked. Uh, this is going to create an issue down the road with seats coming loose in the heads. What we're seeing is the machining of the seat hole is off. And I've got some pictures that I'll show you uh, that I'll put up with this video. So what we recommend is we basically, if we're doing the bike in-house, we will leak the motor down after we get the push rods to see where we're at. Make sure that we have, and they should be anywhere from, you know, 3 to 5 percent, no more than that. And then the heads that are coming in that we are doing uh, that do not have bikes on them, we have made up a fixture that before we break the head down, we bolt this onto the fixture and then leak down the head by itself. And uh, normally it will show up very quickly. It's not something that we can guarantee. We also do a drop test on these heads where we put them in the oven. Uh, when we heat the heads to press the guides out, we bring them up to a temperature and then we do our, what we call our drop test where we drop it onto a piece of uh, plywood, you know, once it's hot to see if that will come loose. But this is just something that I wanted to bring to everybody's attention. I know that we caught it uh, immediately. Uh, and out of the sets of heads that we've done, we've found about six sets with this seat issue. So please keep that in mind. Uh, if you uh, are in at your Harley dealership and stuff like that, a leak down test will show that up very quickly. I will, uh, I will make sure that uh, we post this with some pictures of what the head looks like with the uh, seat hole issue. And then if you have any questions, please let us know. We are set up to on the CNC machine where we can machine out the holes, put new seats in and sync everything to the proper depth and get you up and going if there's any uh, questions with your heads. But uh, thank you again for your time and uh, keep an eye on this. This is going to be an issue. Thank you. This first head with less than 700 miles on it has a 4% leak down. This second head that has the same problem as the first, only this motor has over 3,000 miles on it and a 28% link down. This shot shows the seat welded out of the head that had the 28% link down. You can see the valve seat has been moving in the head, identified by the chafed area in the head seat bore and the carbon that is seen on the seat floor. Although both heads have the same visible problem, the head with the lesser miles didn't have enough run time to show up when the leak down was done. We have replaced three sets of exhaust seats out of the seven sets we have done this month. We also found three more sets that need replacing. On an average, we are seeing the OD on the seat board needing to increase by 20 to 25 thousandths in total to clean up. We are seeing one seat in the head that is bad. All have been exhaust seats for now. TR made the call to replace all four if we find one bad. The extra time and the additional cost are not worth the chance of dropping a valve seat.